after every two to three months as the father lives in Sawat. The successive follow-ups, I used clobetasone propionate and then substituted it after one month by fluticasone propionate and carried on it for six months. Minoxin 2% and multivitamin syrup were carried on till both of them developed a thick fluff of hair similar to a wig. Eyebrow hair and eyelashes grew alongside the scalp hair. The progressive hair growth continued till the scalp was full. They had regular follow-ups after every three months, and in each follow-up, the session was interactive and candid, emphasizing on their morale, giving them hope, but yet preparing them for the recurrence of the disease. A very brief discussion about alopecia totalis. It is an autoimmune recurrent, non-scarring type of hair loss, which can affect any hair-bearing area and may manifest itself in many different patterns. Although it's a benign condition, but most patients are asymptomatic, but it can be a source of great emotional and psychosocial distress. The exact pathophysiology of alopecia areata remains unknown, but the most widely accepted hypothesis is that alopecia is a T-cell mediated autoimmune condition that is most likely to occur in genet genetically predisposed individuals. Recent genetic studies have identified numerous genes for the alopecia areata, including immune and hair follicle related genes. In most reports, the family history accounts for 20% of the cases, and there are several case reports for alopecia in the twins. My inference in this rare case is that alopecia areata in children needs to be treated both medically as well as emotionally, with emphasis on psychosocial, psychological well-being by the treating dermatologist and as psychologists, if necessary. Patients need constant support, empathy, and motivation. Another highlight is the, is the undue bias, or the preconceived notion to the use of steroids. I emphasize that if they are used short-term and judiciously, it is very much beneficial. Treatment is mainly directed towards stalling the disease activities, as there's no concrete evidence that it can turn the ultimate course of the disease. These are the, uh, my patient's photos. This is the younger patient, and this was taken before the treatment was started. And here's the lovely photo with the hair on his head like a wig. This is the elder patient, and this is the photo after the treatment that was given approximately uh, six to one year. I have taken references from various uh, Cochrane studies, various audits, and scholarly articles that helped me writing uh, the case report as well as treating my young patients. And I would be very happy and grateful to the Almighty if my small endeavor creates a small niche in treating alopecia in younger children. Thank you.